Hi, this is Jack Pollock at the IPG Media Lab alongside Hank of Gonna Be. A very, very interesting new app. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, what it's all about? Uh, sure. So, Gonna Be is a social media platform for the future, as in all the things you're going to be doing, what's going to be happening around town, what your friends are going to be doing. There's this space between sending a text message to your friends to make a plan and like a real official like evite Facebook event I have invited you please RSVP There's this whole world in between where so many opportunities are missed for users and friends and marketers to help people figure out what's going on later in town yeah absolutely now there's some really really interesting features I think that kind of differentiate what you guys are doing from from a lot of other apps can you talk about maybe the calendar um, and some, some other kind of interesting uh, different elements that you guys are working on yeah so you're, you see a lot of planning tools and planning apps and platforms out there over the years and the, none of them are really caught on and what we found was you know, people don't want an easier way to make a plan. Like the plan part is fine. It's it's the content mixed with your network is what gives you the real value. So we've built a lot of tools that uh, that make it easier to to see what's happening around you, what your friends are doing. We put our plan feed on a map and put a time slider on there, so it looks like a like a crystal ball of your social life. You can go out into the future five hours, ten hours, and see what's happening later in that night or the next day and uh, really helps people visualize what's going on and that's that's really never happened in social media putting that temporal mapping over there so we're excited about that and it's really helped us um, you know show brands how they can come into a user's life in a, in a more relevant way yeah that, that, and that's a great point well, can you come up with some kind of examples or use cases of a brand uh, working with you guys sure so uh, uh, let's take um, I don't know, Taco, Taco Bell, for example. Taco Bell likes to push their late night menu, fourth meal. Well, um, on, on, the, on the interactive temporal map, if you wanted just to target 21 to 23 year old males who were traveling in groups of three or more, and it would be after 11 p.m. after they've been drinking and they're within a mile of Taco Bell, when they're scrolling through the map, it pops up real big there and says, time for fourth meal, guys, or they get a push notification or whatever that is. So um, that's the tip of the iceberg. We can do anything that's location, social, and mobile based, but because we're in the future space, we have a look into users' lives that no one else has. It's not guesswork, it's factual data what they're going to be doing so that the relevance goes straight to the top. It, it doesn't feel like ads, it feels like stuff you already want to do because you're already doing things. Yeah, absolutely. Now what's on tap at, at South by Southwest? What have, what have you been up to? Really, really busy time for us at South by. I mean, we're answering the question that everybody, everybody at South by asks after the panels are over at 5 p.m. Where's everybody going to be? Where are the cool parties going to be? Where's that VIP event going to be? Where are the Google guys going to be? Where's that free food truck with the free food going to be? And uh, we've, we've stacked up the app full of all of the unofficial South By events that happen at night because South By doesn't offer that through their app or through the website, so nobody really knows what's going on unless they're texting each other. We help by offering a directory and that interactive map that shows all the different parties and where they're going to be. So what that does is it makes us the busiest people in the universe. We haven't slept or eaten in like four days just because we're trying to keep up with with all the traffic that's going through and it's been a really good learning experience for us and uh, I think we've added a lot of value to South by Southwesters. Awesome, all right, well thank you Hank. Yeah. For more news like this, check back at IPGLab.com.